My name is Gabe Franklin and I'm in third grade. I will start telling you about some things we learned. The first thing we learned about was how the heart works and how to find our own pulse. We learned about activities and exercises to raise your heart rate. We learned some activities you can make at home, like ultimate hopscotch. And made models of these activities. We also learned about exercise paths and discussed different types of obstacle courses. We also learned a lot about programming the We Do robot. We learned how to use this interest to give f feedback to your program. We learned how to use the messages with the We Do to make the, the program parallel instead of serial. We used the messages to run multiple functions in one program. We applied what we learned to program a remote control car and then used it to make our model remote controlled. Riley will tell you what we learned about the design processes for playgrounds. My name is Riley Baldwin and I am in third grade. The first thing we learned about was the playground design. Before they start designing, they have to take the site layout into consideration. They try to find a flat area without overhead power lines and not too many trees. They need to have the utilities checked underground. They work with the client to determine what elements they want. With this information, they, need, they make a 2D picture and then turn it into a 3D design. After the design is approved, they can begin building. We also learned about accessible playgrounds. We learned the surface is an important aspect of accessible playgrounds. Ramps should be used instead of stairs. Not everything is required to be accessible, but there needs to be an equal number of accessible and non-accessible elements. They also have wheelchair accessible picnic tables you can roll up to. Now Nolan will tell you about how we designed and built our model. My name is Nolan Salo and I'm in for grid. This is the process we use to build our model. First, we thought of a list of ideas to include in our model. Then we narrowed down the list. Next, we drew a map of the optical course layout so we knew where to put everything. Then we divided the build up among groups of teammates so everybody got to build a part. Then we built the parts. Then we programmed the motorized parts. We shared our work by creating this video and sending it to the festival. We also sent our video to our teachers to share with our classmates. Finally, we invited our families to see the model and the poster. Now, Kian will explain the parts of the model. My name is Kian Shah, and I'm in third grade. This is our treadmill, which you run to get your heart rate off. This is the hurdles. This is the door maze. This is the pull-up bars. This is the bounce beam. This is the rock, rock wall. This is the stepping stones. This is the climbing rope. This is the ramp. This is the zip. Zip line and this is the concession stand. Our, our this is a treadmill to to run to get your heart rate up. This is the hurdles to jump over, and this is our door maze, which is accessible so people can for, so um, people who are handicapped can get through. There are three different um pull up bar sizes for different ages. There are three different bounce beam sizes for different ages. And you, they climb up a rock wall, and you go down this big slide, and there's a little slide for little kids. This is the stepping stones, which you just step across, and this is the climbing, our motorized climbing rope, we climb up and down. This is our ramp, and you just run up, and this is our motorized zip line, we can go down and to the finish. Hello, my name is Ava Schwartz and I'm in third grade. I'm going to tell you how we wrote a program for our remote con to control the rope and zip line. We used two WeDo hubs and two tilt sensors along with two motors. Since we are using two hubs, you have to use the six box grid to tell the program which sensor or motor to use. The first column has two ports for the first hub connected. The second column has two ports for the second hub. Our program has two starting points, one to detect and send messages from each sensor. Each program reads the sensor input in a loop and sends a message of what the sensor is reading. The bottom part receives the message and performs an action based on the number in the message.
If the message is zero is received, it means the sticks are straight up and both motors stop. If the message of three is received, the rope stick is pushed forward, then it spins the, spins the motor to make the rope go up. If it, the message is nine, the rope goes down. If the message is seven, the zipline stick is pushed forward and then the motor spins for the zipline to go up. If the message is five, the motor spins the other way and then the zipline goes down. Now I will demonstrate how the model works. When you push the switch forward, the rope goes up. When you pull the switch back, the rope goes down. When you pull the switch back, the zip line goes down. When you push the switch forward, the zip line goes up.